Looks like GPU prices are increasing yet again, oh boy, and GameStop is selling graphics cards now? Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by CDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC30 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. So it seems like three or four times now the prices of AIB cards have increased since the launch of the RTX 30 series and unfortunately it looks like that's going to be happening yet again as MSI is set to be increasing the prices of all their AIB cards pretty shortly here. Now this story does come from the website digitimes.com and I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit of what they had to say in their article and then we're going to go ahead and talk about it. Now according to digitimes.com quote, MicroStar International MSI will raise its graphics card prices to reflect tight supply that may persist through the end of 2021, according to company chairman Joseph Su. So unfortunately, yeah, it looks like this is definitely going to be happening. MSI is going to be increasing the prices of all their AIB cards. Of course, this is going to include not only NVIDIA cards, but likely also AMD cards as well. So there's going to be a lot of price increases coming here. And AMD uh, AIB cards are already just ridiculously expensive. So I just can't even imagine how expensive they're going to be now. Uh, but, you know, it does really make a whole lot of sense because I bet, you know, from a, their perspective, they're probably looking over at eBay and they're like, hey, RTX 3090s are selling for $3,000. Why are we selling them for like $1,800? So I, if I was to guess, these prices are probably going to come just a little bit closer to what you're seeing on the second hand market. So uh, for the RTX 3090, you're probably going to be looking at, you know, at least $2,400 now would be my guess. Of course, I don't know for sure. For the RTX 3080, you're probably going to be looking at more like uh, $1,400. And then for the RTX 3070, probably closer to $900. So it's going to be just a little bit less would be my guess than say the secondhand scalper prices over on eBay but uh, you just got to imagine that from their perspective they're probably just wanting to get in on this action now fortunately so far only MSI has declared that they're going to be uh, increasing their prices now it hasn't happened yet now it is possible that they could end up not increasing their prices however it really doesn't make sense for them not to at this point I'm guessing that they are going to end up going forward with it and you know even though it is just MSI right now you can bet that more companies are likely going to follow suit I mean this has happened in the past and realistically, once one of them falls, the rest of them tend to as well. So yeah, next you'll probably see like Asus uh, go forward with increased prices. Zotac's probably just going to straight up start scalping people. I wouldn't be surprised if Zotac just comes out and it's like, yeah, that'll be three and a half grand for a 3090. I mean, you know, <laughs> I could totally see them doing that. But hey, I don't know for sure what the prices are going to be from the various different retailers, but just expect them to be very, very high because with demand being as high as it is and there just being, you know, so little supply or at least um, in comparison to the amount of demand, there's so little supply. Uh, yeah, there's just no real incentive for these companies to continue uh, charging you MSRP prices. So the good news is, is that AMD is going to continue to charge MSRP prices over on AMD.com. If you can go to BestBuy.com during one of their drops, they also are going to be selling Founders Edition cards for MSRP still, at least uh, to my knowledge, that looks like that's going to be the case. So if you want an MSRP card, it looks like that's going to be basically your only option at this point is to go to AMD.com or Best Buy during a drop. However, at least you do still have that option. And yeah, unfortunately, otherwise, it looks like there's going to be really, really expensive cards going forwards. And, you know, I have talked about this in a previous video, but the next generation of cards is probably also going to be very, very expensive because, you know, with people paying like 3000 US dollars for an RTX 3090 right now, I, you can guarantee that NVIDIA and AMD are looking at that and they're going, hmm, why don't I charge, you know, say 2000 US dollars for our next flagship GPU, especially if all these miners are going to stick around, which who knows, they may end up sticking around. I know there has been a significant drop in a uh, Bitcoin recently, which also tends to make uh, Ethereum and all the other altcoins drop as well. So if that continues, maybe mining will actually dry up a little bit, uh, but we don't know if that's necessarily going to be the case. So just expect very high prices going forward until the demand starts to go away, which it could end up going away a little bit. And I do think it will, because I think a lot of people are going to go back to work or be more comfortable going out and spending their money in different ways pretty soon here. However, it could be that mining continues to get worse. So we don't really know uh, necessarily 
necessarily when it's going to be easy to buy a video card. And until that happens, video card prices are going to be really high and it's just going to affect the next generation of cards. So just get ready. And if you want to fight these really high graphics card prices, basically the only thing you can do is just not buy video cards next generation if they do turn out to be really, really expensive. But uh, for someone like me, I know that's really, really hard. And I know for a lot of you, that's going to be really, really hard. And you're probably still going to want to buy a video card and you might just end up buying next time around instead of like a 4080 maybe you'll buy a 4070 because they're just a little bit too expensive but hey looks like unfortunately that's just the way things are going right now but now let's go ahead and talk about GameStop selling RTX GPUs so yeah I was looking around the internet and I found an article that came from Tom's Hardware discussing how GameStop is now going to be selling RTX GPUs and I was like what there's no way this could be so I went over to GameStop.com I looked for an RTX 3080 and 3090 and to my surprise yes there were 3080s and 3090s no of course they were not available however yeah it looks like GameStop is going to be selling these cards now which is very bizarre now to me I think GameStop's just trying to get in on a trend that's uh, making a lot of retailers a lot of money right now I know there are a lot of people who are making a lot of money off of the whole supply and demand issues around the RTX 30 cards as well as the AMD GPUs now I don't necessarily know if it's retailers making the money distributors AIBs or Nvidia or AMD themselves I don't necessarily know and I don't care to speculate who's making all that money however somebody's making a lot of money here and it looks like GameStop also wants to dip their fingers into that pie because if you go over and you look at the 3080s and the 3090s on their website yeah you can already see price increases over the already ridiculously priced 3080s and 3090s that are available right now so yeah it looks like GameStop just doesn't know what the heck they're doing I mean this company's had one foot in the grave and one foot on a banana peel for a really really long time I know their stock prices recently just skyrocketed however that was you know due to that whole Wall Street bets thing so I'm not going to get into that into this video but I honestly am not sure if GameStop's going to be around for too much longer anymore using their current business model so I think they're just looking for other ways to expand and it looks like uh, video cards for them is going to be a lucrative option so that's why they're starting to do it now are you going to actually be able to buy a 3080 or 3090 from them probably not they're probably not going to have too many units but hey I guess if you're looking for a 3080 or looking for a 3090 or 3070 or whatever uh, keep GameStop in mind I guess because apparently they do have them they're just a little bit more expensive and honestly uh, yeah cards are getting a little bit ridiculous at this point but hey that's just what I think do you think that video card prices are going to continue to increase or do you think that they're going to eventually get a little bit better let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course I'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like every time you do so AMD and Nvidia get more stock also if you want to see more click here you won't be disappointed